What is going on guys? We're back with another video today. We are in our LA Chargers online user franchise. Of course, it is week 12 now. We cannot play the Chiefs. We mentioned that before. And we are 10-0. The Raiders, we already taken them, taken them down once. They are seven and three. Obviously, looking to sweep the series if we can. Of course, a little bit easier said than done. Uh, of course, his roster is going to be a little bit worse than ours as well. Here's the sim results. Pretty obvious on the screen. Don't really need to explain it to you guys. Uh, the safety's doing in, uh, doing a bit of work in that matchup. Los Angeles versus. Las Vegas, so or Las Vegas, uh, second and eleven, starting out on defense. Of course, uh, here he goes running the ball, gets about half of it. Not really uh, a whole lot to work with. Running back is wide open. Look at him; he is gonna find him. However, it's gonna be overthrown. I think Desmond King might have caught up in time. Anyways, it was an injury there. Didn't really get to catch it. Obviously, it's not our injury, so I'm not really too worried about it. And there it goes Tyrell Williams down the field to the 34-yard line. Could not stay up. But, of course, it's going to count as a catch. Melvin almost having enough speed to slip right in between for the score. But he gains 19 yards anyways. And here in the end zone, Tyree Cleveland playing the slot. Gets the first touchdown on the board. Already offense, defense looking pretty good. To the outside, good timing throw. Carson Wentz uh, 0 for 2 so far. Well, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little early of a throw. Um, there, to the outside, perfect throw. Could not hold on. So now 0 and 3. Third and 10 over the middle, a little high. Gets the catch, though. That's a first down. Clutch conversion keeps the drive going. Second and 11 now, after probably a failed run. Play action. And there's the pick for Moses, my boy. Really wanted to get a pick six at one point. Maybe give him a chance at some better uh, rewards on the season. Lock it underneath, but has enough speed to get the first down. First and 10 now. Going to go with the play action. Looking over the middle. Lock it early throw. Gets 22 yards. Sometimes you don't have to wait. Sometimes you just take it right out the gate. Stepping up into the pocket. Loving the look in Syrie Cleveland with the touchdown. Second and seven now from the 28-yard line. Looking with the pressure. Is that Moses? It is. Moses with the pick. Moses with the sack. Looking strong. Third and 12. Forcing him to roll out. No one really open. Cross the field. He is open. And he actually holds on. Clutch fine. Clutch throw. First down. Down 14. Of course, he's going to need something big. And wow, we get handled. The, the whole team gets handled. Very good lane look there. And uh, he's going to pretty much get almost 20 yards on the play. Third and 10 after a couple of failed looks, though. Could get ourselves off the field, but he probably will come up with some points before that happens here. Under pressure, and the timing is unfortunate there for his speedy wide receiver, Tyson. But he does get three, like we mentioned. Running back's open. So is Cleveland, and probably should have been picked. I don't know how the hell the ball went tipping all the way up into the sky like that, but yeah, we got lucky there. That probably should have been tipped uh, here. No one really open, but guess what? Terrible decision, and he gets... The, uh, you know, the pick right back, and it's technically a better situation. He's a lot closer now, so the karma, I suppose, or whatever you want to call it, was given back, and who almost got to pick ourselves off the tip. Third and 10 from the 16-yard line. Potentially the last play of the first quarter won't be, because once again, the timing. A bit of an issue this game for the Raiders. Uh, looking on second and five, gets the first down on the spin. Melvin Gordon, three for 30. Got to get him going a little bit more if we can. Second and 18. Melvin is going to get more going with that run. Great user by him. We only gained nine. We looked like we were about to easily get the first. Of course, we could not inside. Hunter Henry big enough to get the first down. Second and five now from the 47-yard line. Six minutes left. The backup tight end. I love that man. He is so underrated. I did get a few offers for him in the, you know, the past couple of seasons in fairness. But, of course... That would not be enough. I need to keep him. And look at Eckler. The easiest touchdown you'll ever see. 19 yards. And the blocks were just perfect. There's really not much you can do. Second and seven. Inside look. And he probably should have took the other guy. Because Moses comes down with pick number two. The big man. Not really able to break any tackles. But he gets a pick. And goes forward. And that's all that we care about. There is a hold. Melvin gets a nice little run. But I would assume that's coming back. And it is Eckler. No, it's not even Eckler. It's Gates getting the run on first and 20. Gets back pretty much to the line of scrimmage. So it's a second and eight. Very manageable. 
Melvin Gordon to the right side, picking up where he left off. Tried to outrun him, could not do it. Gains 13 yards, though. 2 minutes, 40 seconds. Melvin up the middle. He's not done. He's fighting. Look at Melvin. He gets about 8 yards when he probably should have only gotten 4. Gotta love the heart. 3rd and 6, looking for someone open. And we actually get sacked. That's a stop. So kicking a field goal there. 1 minute left. Can he put up a, a decent drive before half? He cannot. Third and six at midfield. We do break it up. First and ten now with a minute left to work with. You know we're not going to let that clock go to waste. We got three timeouts. We're not even going to waste a timeout yet, though. Going to keep them. Eckler is going to take a handoff right up the middle. Eckler trying to make some people miss. He cannot. To the 45-yard line, 34 seconds left. Dancing around, looking for someone open. We had a Hunter Henry, kind of, but... I wasn't going to make that throw across our body. I learned my lesson. Taylor Decker gets hurt. We tried to throw it downfield. We could not get it there. 26 seconds left. Quick throw inside. Lock it. We'll get the first down. That's a timeout. 18 seconds left. Rolling out to the right. Once again, have Hunter Henry. Perfect throw, and he drops it. Oh, the best tight end in the league can't hold on to it. Taylor Decker with an injury will be knocked out of this game, but luckily it is just for the game. Third and 11 now. No timeouts left, and I think I tried to high point it. It just didn't go. I don't even remember, but that's a bait. That's a pick. Unfortunately, it leads to nothing, so it just goes on the record. It's an unfortunate situation, and it doesn't even go for points. So a little disappointed in myself with that one before half. Quick throw to the backup tight end. Of course, he's going to hold on to it. He's Mr. Dependable. He's a backup, but he's a beast. Mario Edwards with a shoulder tear, to believe. Rough as hell. Lock it. Look at the throw. Look at the catch. Beautiful stuff. First and 10. Melvin going to fall forward for a gain of about seven. This could be the dagger, although we do lose about five or six yards on a sack. I think it was a coverage one in fairness. Free rush up the middle. We're going to get sacked again. So, Perriman, our ex player, having a pretty decent game so far. Two sacks, five tackles over the middle, and wow. I know he threw a high point there, but how the hell did he hold on to that? I thought we definitely would have got up there. Almost got the sack, but could not. He got it off in time. Third and 12 now from the 49 to the outside. Good find, but Nate Tyson, he's very fast, but the catching is still not quite there, so he's going to have to punt it there. To the outside, we hit pretty much the same route he does, and lock it with the spin cycle is gone. That's pretty much going to end the game, but of course, we will show you whatever highlights are left over, maybe a turnover, maybe cool touchdown. I don't know, maybe an insane catch. You never know. The outside, good knockout by, I would assume, Trevor Williams there. Third and eight. Two minutes left in the third quarter from the 27. I thought I had number three with Moses, but the high point, he gets it over us. That's a first down. Another third and six now. Over the middle. I don't know why he didn't take the tight end. He was wide over the middle. Instead, he's going to have to punt it. Three seconds left, two seconds left. Gates is going to get a chance. Really doesn't get many opportunities. Tries to lower the shoulder. Do you know who you are, buddy? You're not going to make that play. Seven minutes left. Gonna throw over the middle, Tyreek Levin. I believe it is Bortles in. It is a little delay draw, and look at Eckler with a nice move. Really slow. Like he's got a really great ability, like set skills, but he just doesn't really have the ability to cut, like quick cut very often, uh, which is really weird. I don't know. He's got the agility. He's got the elusiveness. He's got the cut move. I don't know where you know it's it's not you know put come together. I don't know. Gates gets the first now, 15 yard gainer. Even though Gates is kind of new on the team. I don't really think we have much room for him. Burnett is so cool, by the way, but it's just too late in his career, in my opinion, to really give him a real starting chance. And look at Henry on third and six. I just took a shot, and he caught it. But as I was saying, Gates might need to trade him because, honestly, Eckler, he's just going to be a backup forever on our team because he's just so good of a price. And finally, he gets to utilize the speed of Tyson. Uh, one of, you know, ooh, got hurt. But a guy that we, have once upon a time, we're going to draft... Could not get to him, which sucks. I mean, there's a lot of good players that we could not get to. Nico Collins was one of them. Uh, Amari uh, not Cooper, Amari Rogers was one of them. Ended up with People Jones, but he is a good catcher in fairness, but obviously never going to be a starter like the other guys we just mentioned. Uh, second and 10 now. Last play of the game. Taking a shot in the back of the end zone. And Moses almost had number three. That would have been insane. Looking at the stat line, we did throw two picks this game, which was... Kind of rough. Bortles with the best passer rating out of every QB. 75% completion rating, though, so I don't know. It's a good game. It's just two interceptions. Anything can happen. Obviously, you can have a game where you're the worst ever, but you don't throw a pick, and 
some games where you miss only two throws and both could be picked. So that's just the way it goes sometimes. A lot of you guys have been wanting me to run the ball more with Melvin. I just don't have the motivation because he's like 28, 29. It's just, I don't know. I know he's going to die soon, and I'd rather just develop the receivers and whatnot. I don't know. Maybe I should start Gates. A little late for that now, I think, though. So I don't know. Hope you guys enjoy the, enjoy the video at least. And uh, maybe, you know, like and subscribe if you're new. Maybe follow me on Twitter at Jerome PK. But anyways, hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!